We're the Philadelphia Rhinos, and this is the Armored Combat League. The Armored Combat League is a national organization about five or six years old. There are a bunch of guys that were part of a, another medieval fighting group and they found out that the Europeans were doing steel fighting, you know, real armor, real weapons. Um, and they said, hey, you know, America's got to get, get involved in this game. So they got a bunch of group of guys together. They went over, they competed. Now we've got, you know, hundreds of members all across the country. The objective is to be the last one standing. We're not actually simulating a medieval battle, we're simulating a medieval tournament. If the fighter was on the ground or makes you know, three points of contact with the ground, that's when they would rule you out because if it was a battle at that point, you'd be pretty much dead. But since we're not out to kill each other, if you have three guys and you put all three of theirs down and only one of yours goes down, it's you know, two standing up and, and you win that round. We do three rounds per set and then as many sets as it takes to get to um, the first team to 11. some strategy in picking who you're going to send out in a round and then what each of those people is going to do that round. Just so much chaos going on and things don't ever really go exactly as planned. It's not just going out there and just having at each other and seeing what happens. There's a wide array of weaponry you can use. For duels, those are typically a like matched weapon. So it's, if it's a longsword duel, you're both fighting with longswords. If it's a sword and shield duel, you're both fighting with a sword and a shield. In melees, it's whatever weapon you want to fight with. It's a significant financial investment. The armor's not cheap, but typically range somewhere between $3,000 and up. Jeez. We have a lot of people that come out that aren't really in great shape, but they find that this is something that really draws them in and it helps people kind of transform their workouts or their physical activity to, to get into this sport because it's, it's really exhausting fighting in armor with the extra weight. There's a therapeutic side to it as well. We've got a lot of like military vets. People have seen that it. it's got a lot of benefits for individuals who struggle with, you know, the aftermath, like the after effects of, of being in, in that situation. I'm uh, an enforcer in the uh, Philadelphia Rhinos and Master of Arms the United States Navy and I'm uh, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've been with the Rhinos. My first fight was in July and I've been fighting ever since. Got to fight once a month at least. I do it because I'm a warrior at heart. I enjoy uh, some friendly violence and I just, I like competing. Part of what we all enjoy doing is not being, not having to hold back. Um, and then there's kind of like a mutual respect and understanding with the other fighters that, you know, like, well, I'm gonna come at you as hard as you come at me, but afterwards I'll help you up and we're gonna go get a beer afterwards and talk about, you know, how, how it was. I love the, the historical aspect of it. I love how competitive it is, but the camaraderie that accompanies it. There's no bad blood between people in a match. You're out hitting somebody as hard as you can, you know, to try to get them on the ground, but it's all out of friendly competitive spirit. It's not because you actually wanna hurt somebody. It, it's a lot of fun too. <laughs> I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.